Hello. Today we are viewing 159 Baywind Drive. This home is located in the gated subdivision of Southwind. Southwind is located in Blue Water Bay in Niceville. And this is deep, far back within the neighborhood. You can see there's a two car driveway with an extra parking pad over there to the side. Two car garage. And this roof is almost brand new. 2022 on the roof. Beautiful mature landscaping and big front yard. And then right out the driveway, you have sort of a cul-de-sac which then tees to the left and to the right to the very back of the neighborhood. And these homes are all waterfront homes on the bay. Let's check out the inside. So much new has happened on this house. Tons of updating to the landscaping, cleaning out, clearing up. Again, roof from 2022. New exterior light fixtures, freshly painted front door and new hardware. And as we head inside, you're gonna love the square footage in this house. You enter here to the stairwell that takes you upstairs and this is fresh stain on the treads and on the hand rail and fresh paint. You can tell all the natural light in this house. And towards the front of the house here, on the left, we have what's considered the formal living room. Plantation shutters, can lighting, all updated to LED cans, crown molding, chair rail molding. The opening there goes back to the back family room and den. And then immediately to your right, there's a cased opening with loads more natural light into the formal dining room. Chandelier here, chair rail molding, crown molding, and again, plantation shutters to the front of the house. This formal dining room has a cased opening there to the kitchen, and we'll revisit that in just a minute. This front living room is really large. Lots of options of what this space could be. Under the stairs, there is a coat closet, nice and deep. And this house, in addition to all the natural light, feels so fresh and clean and light and airy because we have no popcorn ceilings and fresh paint throughout the entire house. Back here into the back den family room. A little bit cozier, still plantation shutters and you've got big wide door frame there out to the screen porch. The carpet in this family room is brand new. It has never been lived on, nice and clean. And again, nice and light and bright. Fireplace here at the end with a beautiful white painted mantle. Recessed lighting in here and an overhead fan. Plenty of room in here for a sectional, two couches, some chairs, great setup, and then it is separated from that front living space. This back family room opens into the Eden kitchen and the awesome sized kitchen that has had wonderful updates, including freshly painted cabinets new light fixture and overhead fan. Recessed lighting has been updated to all LED. Your appliances are stainless steel. You have an electric cooktop here in your island. Updated hardware. And then this is tile flooring throughout the kitchen and the eat-in space. You can see the Eden space is good size. And again, plantation shutters to the backyard. 
little built-in desk space here. And then from the kitchen, you've got built-in pantry here, a closed off pantry, and then it sweeps us back to the front formal dining space. Here's the pantry. And that is in addition to the built-in cabinetry pantry here as well. Down this hallway, you've got your HVAC closet here and downstairs thermostat. Additional coat closet. Remember we had one under the stairs. So here's a second coat closet. And then here is your downstairs full bath. So right off of the kitchen, down the hallway towards the garage, we've got vanity, sink, updated light fixture, and then pocket door to separate to the toilet. And this is a tub and shower combination. And there is bedroom number one is downstairs and connects into this bathroom. You can also access the bedroom here off of the hallway. Brand new carpet in the bedroom. Plantation shutters continue. Brand new fan with overhead light. Really nice size room for this first bedroom. This is the only bedroom that's downstairs. The master and the other two bedrooms are upstairs. This bedroom has a really nice size walk-in closet. Loads of storage can go in here. And again, fresh paint throughout. And this bedroom does connect back into that full bath downstairs. There's your coat closet. And at the end of this hallway, there is a pocket door. And this, new, this newer tile that's from the kitchen also comes down this hallway and into the laundry room. You can see there's hooks here for additional coat storage. Washer and dryer go towards the end of this laundry room. You've got a shelving piece there for some storage and an additional pantry storage, linen storage, lots of closet space so far. We're gonna head out to the garage. Freshly painted sanded door here, nice updated hardware. Very small step here to get out to the garage. And this is a nice wide two-car garage. You can see the two-car garage door and then on both sides you have an additional about three to four feet of space for storage. And out here, we've got a water heater for insurance purposes. This was installed in 2020. Very new. Square D electrical panel. And you also have a utility sink out here in the garage, as well as a man door to get out to the side yard. Pulled on attic access is here as well. And you've got some storage above the garage. Heading back inside. This is how you'd bring groceries in from the garage straight into the kitchen. Might come in this way through the family room. And let's check out on this level, really large screen porch. One small step to get down. And you can see some shade there screened all the way around. We've got a four person table out here with chairs and you can see there's still loads of room. Electricity there. And then out your screen door, you come out to a beautiful backyard and you can see the golfers. That's the Eden kitchen area. This is the back bathroom and bedroom on the first floor. Through there, where the cl trees clear out is the water and the bay. You can see the nice depth of the backyard and the mature trees. Cleared out landscaping looks awesome. And then just beyond the lot line is the golf cart path for the active golf course hole. And this is 
tee box number two. Back of the house. And we're gonna head in and check out the upstairs. It is rare to get this much living square footage, four bedrooms, three baths, in a gated neighborhood in Blue Water. Here we head up the stairs. And as we get to the top, we transition to carpet, which is brand new here at this landing and in all three bedrooms. Nice storage here at the top of the stairs. Built-in bookcases. Here is your second HVAC unit. And we've got master bedroom to the left, bedroom three, and bedroom four. There is a Jack and Jill bath connecting these two guest bed or kid baths, bedrooms on this side of the house. So here is bedroom two or three or four, however you wanna think of it. Big, beautiful, natural light coming in and plantation shutters here on the windows. This is to the front of the house. Nice size room again with chair rail molding. And this leads into the shared bath. Each room though has its own individual vanity that does not have to be shared. This bedroom has this nice walk-in closet. And then there is pocket door here for the shared toilet and shared tub and shower. And then connecting through another pocket door for the vanity for this bedroom. So each of these bedrooms has their own vanity sink area just with the shared toilet tub shower. This bedroom's to the back of the house. Plantation shutters overlooking the backyard and the golf course. And this bedroom has a door that gives access to the back porch on the second story. This room has bifold closet doors. Not a walk-in, but it is still a very deep, nice closet. This is probably the smallest of the three kid guest rooms, but absolutely still great size bed setup coming off of here or off of that wall and room for dressers as well. We have looped back around. Here is your second story thermostat. And we are at the landing at the top of the stairs. There's our view down to the front door. And we're gonna head into the master bedroom. Really nice size master retreat, plantation shutters. And you've got big natural light coming in and it feels like you're in the treetops up here because behind you, golf course and then into preserve. This back porch connects into that bedroom that we just saw. Back porch maybe for some morning coffee. Nice and private back here. This room is definitely large enough for king size bed multiple dressers, maybe even a chair for sitting space. And then we connect in via pocket door here to the master bath. We change to tile flooring. There is a double vanity, updated light fixture here and fresh paint, no popcorn. On your left is the big deep walk-in closet for the master. Long hanging bar on the left, shoe rack straight ahead double hanging bar on the right. And then further into the master bath, you have toilet area with built-in storage, big window with natural light over the tub, and then a separate walk-in shower. Cultured marble and then framed glass here, and then room for towel storage.
Come check out 159 Baywind. It's a beauty.